In this WordPress tutorial for beginners, I want to show and explain what slugs are, how you can change them, and what's the benefit of having good slugs for your website because it helps for SEO and rank your website in search engines. So in this tutorial, I will explain everything that you need to know. It's a tutorial especially for beginners. So and if you're new to making websites and you don't know exactly what slugs are, then this tutorial is for you. Let me go to the WordPress dashboard. As you can see, I have been logged in already. This is a, a random post from my website that I have. And you can see the title of this post is SiteGround File Manager Tutorial. And if I scroll down, you can see I have the Yoast SEO plugin installed. If you don't have the Yoast SEO plugin yet, then you can download it for free. I have made tutorials about it, so if you don't know how, how it works, then you can follow that. But just download it and then you will have these options for your pages and posts. And if you scroll down, you can see the slug option over here below the SEO title. So in this case, the slug of this post is SiteGround File Manager Tutorial. And the separation icons that you can see over here are added automatically. So that's always the case. So basically what the slug is, is it's the part behind the URL, the basic URL of your website. So in my case, the URL of the website is websitelearninglab.com. And the slug is the part that comes after the forward slash icon. So in this case, if I want to go to this page, then I can open a browser tab. I can enter the website, so websitelearninglab.com. Then the forward slash sign, and then I can add this part, SiteGround File Manager Tutorial, and then I will be directed to the post that's opened up over here. So basically, only thing you need to know is the slug is the part that comes after the forward slash part of your URL and it's set for every page and post that you have. And by default, the slug will be title of the page or the post. For SEO, it's beneficial if you have the keyword that you want to rank for, if you have that mentioned in the slug. Keep that in mind. There are also other things that you can do to optimize your website for SEO. I have made complete tutorials about that, but the slug is one part of it. As I mentioned by default, the slug will be the title of your page or post and then it will be displayed over here. But you can also change the slug manually. So let's say for example, I want to change this slug to something shorter like SiteGround File Manager. Then I can delete this part, I can save the post and then this will be the new slug. It's good to know that clear and descriptive slugs provide visitors with a better understanding of the content they will find on your page or post. And of course this will also help to improve the user experience. So if the automatically generated slug is too long, you can change it very easily with the Yoast SEO plugin. I hope you learned something new by watching this video. If that's the case, make sure to support the channel. You can do that by leaving a like, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification bell to stay updated on new videos. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, make sure to let me know in the comment section, and I will see you back again in the next video.